I am Marina Blanco. And I'm Lydia Green. And, and we, we study, study lemurs. lemurs. So we study lemurs at Duke. That is both of our jobs. It's basically to use uh, non-harmful science to better understand our primate cousins, the lemurs. Lemurs are very different from humans. They're a very different branch of the primate family tree. You know, we separated 50 to 60 million years ago. Lemurs are the most threatened group of vertebrates on Earth, and they perform a lot of really important functions in their ecosystems. So things like seed dispersal, pollination, nutrient cycling, and so on. Lemurs are also super diverse. There's 108 species in Madagascar. There is nothing, I guess, average about lemurs. They are really extreme examples um, and I think each one of them will show some sort of unique or extreme strategy um, that they use to make a living. Madagascar is such a different place compared to other systems on Earth and you, we can just leverage the natural experiment that that island is to really understand what makes biodiversity diverse, how evolution and ecology work, how our planet functions, how species come to be. So there's just a lot of basic science that we can study in Madagascar because it's just so unique from other places. And I am particularly interested in the dwarf lemurs, the only hibernating primates. So I am leading a project at the Duke Lemur Center to basically understand hibernation. And I study the bigger lemurs, the shafax, and I'm really interested in their nu nutritional ecology and how they meet their nutritional demands on so many different foods. Do I look like him yet? Have, am I, have I become one of them? When I tell people I study dwarf lemurs in the rainforest, maybe they think that I am hanging out with lemurs, uh, peacefully tracking them during the night. Um, but in reality, I get to see them very little. People think we spend our whole lives staring at cute animals in the forest. And that's probably because my social media is just filled with pictures of lemurs in the forest and not pictures of me typing on the computer, which is pretty boring. But there's a lot of time that we spend doing a lot of more boring compute work. So it's not all like forest field life. I think science works best when it's collaborative and when it's team-based. And I think we tend to work well together. We're very different um, in how we approach things and we have different perspectives and different training. So it's often a really nice synergy when we can just spend a couple hours with a cup of coffee chatting about things we'd love to do and how to problem solve. There are pros and cons to working with each other for sure. But I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons. And I wouldn't say otherwise in front of my wife.